Hi seniors, I just thought I would come on and have a quick chat to you as we plan to start a return to school and so you are fully aware about what the next stage are, is and what your role is within it. So as you are aware, the English course is normally assessed externally by the SQA. You would normally be preparing for your external exams right now and that would be made up of paper one, which would be a RUI paper worth an overall 30%, and paper two, which is worth an overall 40%, divided up into 20% for text analysis and 20% for critical essay. You would also be looking to send away your folio, which is worth an overall 30%. Now, obviously you know that there is not going to be any external assessments this year, but we still need to be gathering evidence of these four skills in order for us to give you an overall award. At this time, you have currently completed baselines assessments for all of these elements, so you should have a good idea about where you're sitting in the course. If you don't, it would be a good point to contact your teacher and get this information. So the folio first draft should be currently with your teacher and will either be returned to you already or in the process of being marked. Once you've re received this feedback, it's important you take on board what your teacher has said because this is information that's designed to help you up-level your work so that when you do your final submission on the 19th of April, that this is the best possible work in line with your level. You should ensure that you also are sending something in that's completely of your own work and you have cited any references that you have used. Once we return to school, we will continue to gather our evidence and we will be doing a series of summative assessments, your final assessments for the course. These will consist of a RUI paper and critical reading paper where you will get an opportunity to show all you have learned over the course of the year. When we are looking to decide your award, we will look at these summative assessments as well as how you have performed in the folio and checkpoints and any other evidence that your teacher has gathered over the course. This will ensure that you get a fair and accurate account of how you have performed over the year and also takes into account the unusual situation that we're in. Now, we obviously have to work within SQA guidelines, so we would be looking at how you are performing. And if we were worried about your performance at a particular level, it may be that we advise you to be presenting at an alternative level. This is because we need to make sure that the grades that we put in are fair and accurate and represent the evidence that we have. Now, moving forward, we are going to put in a number of things to support you on top of what we have already done. Now, our courses have all been redesigned to take into account that the last couple of months have been remote learning. This means that you should have continued to make progress on these skills if you have been actively involved in the workshops and lessons. Additionally, we are going to be running a series of workshops that will focus on key skills for you to be able to select where you need additional support. This means you may be working with a teacher who's not your normal English teacher and working with groups that are not part of your normal class. Some of this may happen face to face if we are returning to the classroom or it may happen online. We'll update you closer to the time. Additionally, teachers are offering live lessons going through past papers, so it's important you attend these or if they're recorded, then it's a good idea to watch these back and take part in the activities. Finally, when we come back to face-to-face -to -face learning, our intention is to maximise this time to make sure you are as prepared for assessment as we possibly can make you. It is also important though you understand what your role is within this. So during remote learning, there is an expectation that you have completed the learning that we have given you and submitting your teacher at work to your teacher so that they can give you regular feedback to keep you on track. Your folio, for example, should have been submitted and that feedback is in the course of being returned to you. Also, at this level, you are expected to take part in regular private study. So this is regular revision of your resources and working on your folio, and this will help you to succeed and be prepared for your external assessments. We know this has been a tough year, but we are really proud of how you're doing, and we know that you can do this. If you're feeling anxious or you have any questions about anything that's going to be happening in the next wee while, make sure you're contacting your teacher or you can get in touch with myself. Take care.